Hi there, you're watching New Egg TV. I'm Jennifer, and today I have for you from MSI two of the GT series family of gaming laptops. I have the GT70 and the GT60 to do product overviews. All right, so here's everything that comes in the box. Now, I'm just gonna go over one set of accessories because both laptops come with the exact same thing. So we have a diskette that includes your user's manual and your driver utilities here. Also, you get your case badge separate so you can affix this to anywhere you would like instead of the you know MSI choosing for you, you can choose for yourself. Also, we have your notebook quick start guide, a hotkey F3 recovery function guide, uh, your limited warranty summaries, multilingual, and also if you have any questions or problems, MSI would like you to please contact, the contact them directly about their products. You get your power brick and also power cord. All right, so let's start by taking a look first at the physical dimensions of these laptops. I'm gonna start with the GT60. So here we have a screen size of 15.6 inches diagonally, a weight of 7.7 .7 pounds, then on the dimensions, you have a length of 14.97, a width of 10.24, and a height or a thickness of 1.77 inches at its thickest point. Moving now to the GT70, over here we have a 17.3 diagonal screen, 8.6 pounds of weight, a length of 16.85 inches, a width of 11.34, and a height or thickness of 2.17 at its thickest point. Okay, so let's first get started by talking about the keyboard and some of the features around the keyboard, so please ignore all of this. I'm going to get to it in a bit. Now, the keyboard is by Steel Series. It's backlit, and it, as you can see here, it has three different sections of backlighting. Now, this is programmable to thousands of different color combinations, or if you prefer, you can use one of the five preset configurations. Up at the top, we have some interesting touch toggles. The first one that looks like a little film reel here is actually a quick start for the Power DVD program. So if you're watching a movie, you can just get it quickly launched by hitting that toggle there. Then here we have the fan. Now this is a cooler boost that is touch actuated when you feel like the uh, fan needs a little extra cooling. So this is a single fan cooling solution that can be turned on just like that. And it'll get going if it needs it. It doesn't really make too much noise as you can probably tell. Here the little sunshine is to turn on and off your backlighting. And then this is airplane mode, which is pretty self-explanatory. So after airplane mode, you have the quick shut off toggle for the display. Now, if you're using the laptop for a presentation or you wanna plug it into a larger monitor to use it to watch a movie, or if you're using matrix display, which I'll talk a little bit more in a moment, and don't want the main display of your laptop on, you can quickly shut it off here and then turn it back on just by touching the mouse pad. Next to that is a little G, and that's a toggle on and off for the system control manager, which I'll show you real quick here. <laughs> Please, there it goes. Actually gotta hold your finger down on that for about three seconds, and then it'll launch the system control manager so that you can quickly um, turn your Wi-Fi on and off, touchpad, there's a few different options in here to go over with that. But it just gives you a real um, easy way to get into that menu. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about the audio system on this. Now the speakers are by Dyn Audio, and in this laptop you have the two upfront speakers and then a subwoofer underneath. These are used in conjunction with Sound Blaster Cinema. And I'll talk a little bit more about some of the other sound features as we go around the outside. As you see, uh, MSI has kept the design of this laptop really nice and, um, you know, kind of simple and classic. So you have a nice matte finish around the top of the screen. You've got the brushed aluminum wrist rest and then a nice matte texturized touchpad, which I really like because it allows you without looking down to differentiate very easily tactile wise between the wrist rest and the touchpad because it gives you a little bit more feedback in that surface. And then you have your left and right clicks are on separate buttons, which I also really appreciate. Down below that you can see a series of LED indicator lights, which will tell you if your Bluetooth has been activated, your Wi-Fi, um, battery indicator light, sleep mode, and then also your hard disk drive uh, 
indicator light. I would also like to quickly mention that the built-in webcam on this is 720p HD, which is pretty good. And then also there's a built-in mic here right next to it, which puts the microphone far away from the speakers. That actually reduces a lot of feedback when you're using the built-in webcam. Okay, so now let's take a look at some of the out side features. As you can see, MSI has continued the classic brushed aluminum surface on the outside, and then you get the MSI Chrome logo in the middle. Around the outside of the computer now, we can talk about some of the ports. Now this is the GT70, and this one comes with just a regular DVD player for your optical drive. But I should mention that other GT series laptops have Blu-ray drives and even Blu-ray rewrite drives. So depending on what you want, you could get the GT60 here, has the Blu-ray drive in it, or um, a different GT series if you want the bigger screen. They're, you know, the GT series are great because they have so many different options. Depending on what you're looking for in a gaming laptop, you can find it from MSI. Now taking a look as we continue to go around, we have two USB 2.0 ports. I'm going to switch it to the front. I already talked to you about these LED lights, so now I'm going to talk about the side over here. We have three USB 3.0 ports, a multi-disc reader, and then you can kind of see the thin array inside for the cooler, and then a nice ventilation point here for that fan. Now talking about some more of the audio, these are gold flashed audio ports. So we have, you know, standard headphone, microphone, and then two additional speaker ports. Now these are attached to an amplifier chip. So if you do use external audio, you get additional sound quality with that amplifier chip inside. Moving around to the back side now, we have a HDMI port, a mini display port, and then also your D sub port. So like I said, this does have matri matrixing display capability. So you have uh, three screens on, and then you can also have the display of the laptop on at the same time. So up to four screens running independently. And then you have your LAN port, power, and a Kensington lock for those moments when you have to leave your laptop somewhere mm, unreliable. And some more uh, air cooling ventilation here for that cooler boost fan. All right, so now we're going to take a look at the impressive undercarriage, and I'm going to go over the goodies that you get inside. Now, I'm not going to open this particular laptop up because it does void the warranty on this, and MSI has kindly loaned us this laptop with the hopes that they might um, be able to sell it again. So I'm not going to open anything up, but I am going to talk about what we get inside. Now, as I said real quickly, here's a subwoofer, so you really do get a lot of dynamic sound with this laptop. This particular model, has the 4700 MQ Haswell Intel i7 processor inside. Additionally, you get eight gigs of DDR3L or low voltage memory. Now the low voltage is good for laptops because it helps preserve your battery life. The GPU is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 770 Mobile with three gigs of DDR5. And then I should mention that this has a hard disk drive of that's a one terabyte drive, and I believe a 5400 RPM drive in this one. Now the um, GT60, however, does come with a um, one terabyte hard drive and then also a 128 gig SSD. But as I mentioned before, the GT series of laptops are virtually uh, customizable to whatever specs you like. So if you want one with uh, more storage or more SSD drives, they have it, it's available, so you can check those out on MSI's website or on Newegg's website, however you feel like doing that. Anyway, the networking inside here, we have the E2200 networking card for your Ethernet and the Killer N1202 wireless. Actually, I should mention those are both Killer. So Killer E2200 networking card for your Ethernet and then also the Killer N1202 for your wireless internet needs. All right, so that just about wraps up this product overview of the GT70 and the GT60 laptops from MSI. You may have noticed that these particular laptops came preloaded with Windows 8, but I'm going to mention that sometime in the very near future, MSI will be offering laptops preloaded with Windows 7 if that's what you prefer. I know some of you may find that to be very good news. I would also. Anyways. Until next time, I'm Jennifer, and if you liked this video or found it useful in any way, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching Newegg TV.